hi guys welcome back to my channel it's g from happiness and crafting so it is friday freebie day now we're on number 144 um so again we have got i've got like a little collage for you and um, um again this week i've got a little sort of little girl in this one so the last four because i normally put them in like a little set of four and um, for people that aren't on facebook and pop them in the etsy shop and they are in like little sets of four so this is the last one of the set of four um so they're all sort of like lady orientated um this month so i'm just loving them so it's another collage so we have this one that we did the very first one so i've given it i've done a sort of a similar one to this um but again you can use it however you like um so we've got little girl we've got some beautiful butterfly wings and some lovely ephemera which is great so i'm going to show you and um, what i've done with that in a minute and we will be making something but first of all i want to show you this which is if you are a kofi supporter a one-off or a monthly you can pop over to kofi and pick this up so that's a little bonus for you and also for the monthly supporters you will also get this page which is sort of like some little bit embellishments we can have like a belly band or a bookmark um, and these can be like little toppers on there so if you're a monthly supporter you will get both and if you are a one-off you will get this in the Kofi I'll pop a link down below um, so do pop over and pick those up or print them off or save them so you've got them um, and I'm going to show you another thing I wanted to show you quickly was let me just pop this to the side I have got just a new backing paper kit out um, I've been asked for this one um, quite a bit at the moment so I have done a lovely backing paper they're more of a sort of like um, earthy tones um, sort of like blues and greens and browns so these are beautiful look at that that's very sort of nautical and woody isn't it um, so you get 20 pages five of all sort of each color palette if you know what I mean so you've got the blues and greens and browns um, but look at that I just love that and that I've used this already on backing some papers as well but these I think would look beautiful on the front of a journal if you wanted a leather looking journal a very scruffy grungy one I think that would be absolutely perfect a little bit of sort of rusty colors coming in there and then we've got sort of like the creamy yellowy colors um so love them absolutely love them love them if i can speak look at these beautiful so there we go quick flip through just so you can see the colors the words and phrases will be coming out in those as well um next week or probably over the weekend but i'm going to get on with this one and show you now if you saw my last video um i think it was the last one or it was on wednesday tuesday or wednesday we made this journal um it was just one made from envelopes it's a beginner's journal and it is so so simple so i've made that so that means that i can um, embellish it with this friday freebie this week so i'm going to pop that to the side i'm going to show you this one that i've already made now i think it just looks so lovely and it's so so simple so like i was saying in the video when we did this i'll pop the link down to the video for this under the video um it's easy for beginners really really simple and you've got your friday freebie so you can decorate it i've just popped little bits of tape on there to make it look a little bit more sort of vintagey um, which goes with the tape around the edge here um, that we've used and i'm loving it and inside i haven't made it into a journal I've used the extra little bit of ephemera on there to make like a little tuck on there which I think looks really nice so you don't have to put all the pieces on the front you could pop some on the back you can pop them on the inside wherever you like and then I've just made like a little um, notepad which goes in there and I've popped a little bow now I've made some holes in it and it's gone all the way through I popped some little eyelets and I've just popped a little bit of seam binding as a bow. So that means when you have used up all of this paper, you can add more. Just punch some little holes in there um, and pop 
some of your scrap papers in there just to have a little notebook pop that in the bag or you can have that on your desk um, by your computer wherever and it's a fabulous little gift as well isn't it um, so I just think it's lovely so we have the basic here the basic envelope journal um, so all I'm going to do I'm going to decorate the front so I've already cut these out and if you have a look on this one, I didn't show you, did I? I didn't say. I popped some little bits of fabric. Now this is some um, cheesecloth on there. And then on her head here, I'll pop a close up at the end of the video. I've just got some little tiny embellishments. Like the ones we put on the little dresses last week. Um, they're nail art ones. So I just think they're really nice and they are perfect for little embellishments. But I've just popped some fabric so it looks like she's sitting on something nice and soft and comfy. Um, but I love it. Now I'm not going to add fabric to this one today. I'm just going to add a few little bits and pieces. Now we did pop a little sort of like side tuck in here. So what I thought I would do, I would stick this down the side fold it over so it actually so we've got a little bit of the outside coming out onto the inside so I'm just going to fold this over a little bit like that just a little bit now again if you like to sew you can sew around these first so that I'm just going to slip on there look and then you've got this underneath um, which I think just adds to it and then you can add anything you like to it as well so I'm just going to take some tacky glue let's just add a little bit of this to here if it's going to come out all my glues seem to be doing really strange things at the moment like I said in my last video is this going to come out it's not is it look what I said my the um, caps are all splitting so it's a bit strange I'm gonna have to use this out of the big one today the trouble is I end up using it too much and it goes everywhere but our weather is so hot here and it's very very hot in here so I think everything seems to be um, drying up so I'm not sure whether it's the heat because um, I've got it closed up really tight whether it's the pressure wants to pop open or something or other I'm not sure so there we go that just sticks on there like that and then we have the little girl let's pop her wings on first shall we so they're dry so all I'm going to do pop a little bit of glue on here see I always make too much let's just wipe a little bit onto that wing this where should we pop it just like that pop this one under there now you've got to make sure it fits across your journal like that that does doesn't it stick her down okay so that's her just stuck down and pop you to the side where shall we put these shall we pop that one up there like this should we have her sitting on this one should I have that one there she can sort of sit on that one and we'll have this one down there it doesn't really matter well where they go oops let's stick a little bit more glue again add some little bits of fabric in here as well if you wanted to little odds and ends that you've got let's just pop that on there as I always use too much glue if I don't use my little one then we get glue absolutely everywhere there we go. let's pop this up there so she can sort of like be having the little roses behind can't she should we sort of have it let's have it there let's pop these on well, I hope you guys have had a nice week can't believe this week has gone so quickly time just flies doesn't it 
So you have to make the most of every single day. And there we go. That's going to sit on there like that. Shall we pop her? So it looks like she's sitting on that one. So if we pop that on here. So you can just pop them wherever you like. And again, I did make a smaller journal, this one as well. This was made out of different size envelopes. Um, so you could pop her on a smaller one or you could pop her on anything. I need to go into my um, Friday freebie journal and pop this in there as well. I will show you how the other ones go in there too. There we go. So I put that on there. Actually, I've got one of my words here which says cherish today. Now, I haven't used these words and phrases for ages, so I thought I would pop that on there. Should I just put that up on there? Should we just stick her on? Let's pop her on. Just like this. A little bit around here. We go. Pop her so it just looks like she's sat on the little bit of ephemera. There we go. Perfect. Just a gorgeous. Now I'm going to use my tape, whatever I did with my tape. Two seconds. I've got my little bits of craft tape here so I just want to do like I did on this one here oopsie daisy I've just added the little pieces so it looks a bit more sort of vintagey so just take a little bit of this craft tape before I stick this one down just stick little bits on I think it works really well with these journals just stick a little bit down there a little bit across there and maybe I will come in on the inside shall we just stick a little bit there Just little bits you need and pop that bit on there so I just think that looks really good now you can probably ink it up a little bit more than I have so let's just should we go a little bit lower let's just stick this on like this pop that on onto here just need tiny little bits of it like that let's take that out that's lovely I love that so what should we pop underneath there should I just pop that on top or should we have a little bit now I have been dyeing or colouring some cheesecloth that's quite a nice colour, isn't it? Or the pink. Maybe I'll go for a little bit of darker. Now, I have been dyeing some cheesecloth and I've also been colouring some seam binding as well. Now, I'll just show you quickly. This is the um, Hug Snug seam binding, which I use. I always buy the white um, because I can colour it myself. Um, then you're not limited on your colouring, are you? So I have coloured this with um, the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Sprays, like this. And I coloured this one with this Lindy's Starburst Squirts, which is Polite People Purple. Now, what I have discovered is, obviously this one is oxide, so it's going to be a chalky. Um, 
but this one is nice and shiny. The oxides have shrunk the seam binding. So if you look, I've never really noticed this before, it is a lot, lot smaller. It's almost it's about a third of it, um, which I've never noticed before until I was making some little flowers and realised that they were a lot bigger. So it's obviously shrunk the seam binding. So I don't know whether you guys have found that. This one, this is lovely. I've used this one here for that and I just think that colour comes out absolutely beautiful. And this one I've added the same and but I've added a little bit of brown in with that one. So I'm loving them and I thought I'm going to use that one to tie in the um, little journal in a minute but I just thought it's strange I don't know whether you guys have noticed or any other ones have shrunk your seam binding at all now oops I don't want that piece it's gonna just take this scrunch it up like that and just add this don't think maybe I will use all of it. Should I use all of it? We need to use some Fabri-Tac on this one. Let's take that off. Hop a little bit of Fabri-Tac on here. If this is going to come out, there we go. See, all my glues are so. Um, going so thick and gloopy. I need to have a little fridge up here to put them in. Keep them nice and cool. There we go. Let's pop this on here. That's better. Perfect. Cherish today. That's lovely. Look at that. I just think that looks really nice. I'll pop a little thing on her head in a minute. Some little embellishments. So let's just pop the lid on that. Pop it upside down. Now let's go inside. Now what I have done, I've got some little pieces of paper which I have taken just a sheet of copy paper um, and I've cut it into three. And then that fits here absolutely perfect like that. So the length is the size, the width is the same as well. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to unclip this a minute. I clip them together so they didn't all fall apart. Make sure they are sort of reasonably level. And I'm going to pop them on a little bit higher like that. Going to clip these two on so it stays on perfectly it's not level but it doesn't matter I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to punch some big holes through the whole thing now if I can get that in there I'm going to go try and do it where I can make sure we don't want it too low so I'm going to have one there and then one there like that so that goes through the whole thing now I'm going to just clip this on so they stay and then we've got the two here so I'm going to pop a little a couple little eyelets in here Two of these, pop these on. Now again, you don't have to add these, um, but it will save you ripping your paper. You know, if you're going to do anything, it's it's quite nice. It just finishes it off nicely, doesn't it? So that's in. I can pick up the other one, pop that in. Squeeze that down. And there we go, look at that, perfect. And then what we need to do, pop that on, 
take some ribbon, take some seam binding. Again, you can use ribbon. You can use whatever you have. A little bit of string would look quite nice as well, seeing it's quite um, vintagey. String goes really well. Pop that through there. Up through this one. Up through there. So there we go. Going to pull this a little bit tighter on there. Let me just clip that on so it doesn't move. Right, I'm not going to cut the ribbon off yet, the seam binding off yet. So let's tie that in a little bow. If I can. There we go. Perfect. And then we can just snip that off. Just like that. You can do it a little bit neater than I have done it there. Just twiddle it around so it's all nice and tidy. But look at that. I just think that looks really, really nice. And then when you want, when you've used up all your papers, you can just add some more. So that just closes up like that. I'm not going to put a closure on it because it will probably go in on my desk on, and I don't want to have to keep opening it and closing it with something. I might even get something like um, one of those little um, thingy clips little metal clips to pop it on there which I think will look nice but I just love it let's add a little bit of ink just to that edge there just like that but how lovely is that and what a lovely gift that would do shall we just do her hair before I forget let's pop that on there I've got my little pot of nail embellishments um, which is lovely now I was going to use this to pop some glue on, but if we can't get that out, I'm going to have to use this. So you watch me make a great big blobby mess. Let me just pop a little bit, just a tiny bit. Now, the nice thing about PVA glue, which is this tacky glue, it does dry clear. So if you've got a great big blob on there, it doesn't matter will dry clear so I'm going to pop one of these little flowers because these are just beautiful I just love them so I'm gonna pick up don't want the shiny ones I need a little pink one little pink flower I'm gonna pick up if I can if it will let me there we go let me just turn that over that and pop that on her head like that and then I'm going to take I'll pop some of my tiny little sea beads um, in this pot um, and then I'm just going to pop them on just a couple either side like that I probably need a little bit more glue but I will add to it when I've unblocked my little glue bottle if I try and add any more glue with the big one, I will just make a big mess. So there we go. I will pop a little bit of a little sparkly one in the front as well, in the middle of the flower. Um, when I've done my glue bottle, but I just think that looks really, really pretty. Don't know whether you can see. Can you see that? Add a little bit more, but you get the idea. But there we go, guys. That is your Friday freebie. Okay, actually, what I wanted to show before I finish, just want to show you the finished ones in our Friday freebie book. Now, where are we? This was the first one that we did, and I did a double page, and then I made some little pockets on this one. This was our second one, which I was a beautiful lady with her dress on. Now, on this one, I have made a little pocket here. So you can pop a little um, something, a little journal card or anything in there as well. And then I've added the tags that we made as well. 
Um, this is the paper from the Friday, the um, Kofi, but this one it printed a bit funny, so it's got lines on, so um, yours won't do that. So that goes in there, and then I've just done another one the same on this side, popped the little tag in, just a little tuck spot, and then what I will do, I will get the other Friday freebie and add that to this page. So they are all in a row, but I just think, wouldn't that make it a beautiful journal? I love it, absolutely love it. So we've still got lots of pages to fill up in here. So we've got lots and lots of work to do, but I'm just loving it. So pop that to the side. That's the lovely Friday freebie. This was our lovely one. This one, isn't it? So I've got two now. And don't forget, you can make a smaller one as well. So I'll pop the link down to make these journals because they are so, so simple. Um, really, really good. And I think they look lovely. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to pop over to the Facebook group. Um, if you're not um, um, in the Facebook group, there's a link down below the video. Um, please join the group. Um, come along and print off some lovely freebies. Um, you have some fantastic inspiration in the group. The ladies and gents and everybody that's in that are just amazing. Um, so there we go. And please, I never say this, I always forget, please do subscribe to my channel um, so you don't miss any of our lovely videos and the Friday freebies. So that click, click on the link um, and please like it as well because it really does help. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe. Look after yourselves and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye bye.